Hello YouTube, this is Urban Survivor, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Eon electric scooter. Uh, this is a pretty cool scooter, um, not only for bug outs, but also it would be probably even best suited for a get home situation. Uh, it's an electric powered scooter, and there's three different models. There's the Pro, the Standard, and the Mini. And uh, the range is pretty impressive. Uh, on all three of these scooters but the Pro in particular and in this video we're going to be focusing um, pretty much just on the features of the Pro but I'll give you a couple of the basic features of the other models as well um, the price point uh, is $399 for the Pro $349 for the standard and $299 for the mini and the Pro is capable of 25 mile per hour and a 25 mile range and you can also get an extended battery, which pushes the range to 35 miles, which is quite impressive. The standard version is capable of a top speed of 20 miles per hour and a 20 mile range. And the mini is capable of 15 miles per hour and uh, 18 mile range. And um, also, What's great about these scooters is if you do end up uh, exhausting the battery life, you can just pedal as you would on a normal scooter. So you can keep going uh, if you need to. If you haven't quite reached your destination, uh, you know, with the battery life that you have, you can keep going, which is uh, a really nice. It gives you, you know, a, a lot of use uh, beyond the regular battery life. Uh, I imagine that this would be really, really great for a bug out situation. Um, what you could consider doing is having like a solar panel uh, to charge uh, a battery bank, which could then charge your scooter if, um, you know, if you needed to use it in indefinitely. Uh, I think that would be a great way to get around. And the beauty of this is that it's electric, so it's quite uh, quiet. Also for a get home, this would be fantastic. You could keep it in your car at work. Um, you could just keep it in the office. And if for whatever the reason uh, you couldn't use your car to get home, maybe there's an earthquake, maybe the roads are blocked, maybe there's you know some insane traffic or some kind, uh, you can use this scooter to get around. And uh, I think it would be a pretty fun experience actually. And you might find that you don't even like taking your car anymore after getting one of these scooters and you just might take it to work with you every day. Um, so I'll jump into a couple of the features of the Pro. Um, if you want, you can look more at the other models if, if you're interested, but the Pro, I, I really like it. It's the most beastly and um, it even has a seat. So if you want to sit down and ride, you can, and that would be a lot more comfortable if you had to go any distance. And there's three different tire options. There's the all-terrain, there's the road tire, and then there's the honeycomb. Uh, the honeycomb actually is the quickest of the tires, so if you don't expect to have rough terrain of any kind, I would go for that. But uh, if you do need to maybe take it off-roading a little bit, go ahead and get the all-terrain. Um, you can also get a phone mount for this. You can also get a, a folding mirror. You can uh, get a light mounted as well. So it's a really commuter friendly item. Uh, another thing that's great about the scooter is it's able to climb 30% plus grades, which uh, is pretty impressive for uh, you know a small electric scooter. Um, I, I've looked at a lot of different electric skateboards, electric scooters, things like that, and a lot of the time they get really, really slow when trying to climb hills. And if you watch uh, this guy climbing these hills, he's he's having no trouble at all, and um, you know it doesn't look like the thing's about to die on him. So uh, it looks more than uh, powerful enough to be able to handle uh, any kind of steep hills that you might come across. There's also a uh, cruise control mode on here, so if you uh, you know don't want to have to be on the th the thumb throttle, you can. Um, you know, turn on cruise control and it'll just cruise along at whatever speed that you set it to. And it's really easy to uh, disengage, which is pretty cool. There's also a front and rear suspension, so your ride will be nice and smooth. There's a couple great accessories that you might also want to consider. There's a 
especially if you're going to be using this frequently, um, maybe for as part of your commute or something. There's a two hour quick charger, which is damn impressive. Um, some of these uh, small electric scooters and skateboards can take like six or eight hours, sometimes even more, which is kind of a pain. So this fast charger is pretty uh, convenient. I would get that if you're going to use it. Um, there's also like a high powered horn that you can get. So you can make people aware that you're coming if they don't see you. Um, there's also a storage bag you can get, um, and there's also like a, uh, like an LCD screen that, um, tells you your speed and your distance and things like that. Um, yeah, anyways, so this scooter is, I guess, supposed to be shipped starting around March. Um, and if you want one, you can order it through this uh, Indiegogo campaign directly. I'll put the link below. And the cost per charge is around seven cents. So it's a super economical way to travel. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, you should check out my video about the ultimate survival bike. It's uh, basically a, a, a similar alternative to the Eon scooter. That's a bike and it's pretty cool. You probably would like it. Um, let me know your thoughts about this in the in the comments below. Um, maybe you know of something better, or maybe uh, you want to give this a try. Uh, all right, have a good one.